This is a full stop. It's an ending. It's the final nail in Fun's coffin. It marks the end of a little bit of independence that drivers all over the world love and often fight fiercely to protect. It's not the car itself, the 911 GT3. There's a new one of those, but it's Gearbox. It's the last manual GT3 will probably ever have. Porsche unveiled a new type 991-911 GT3 at the 2013 Geneva Motor Show. It's faster, more capable, in every way better than this, the previous generation 997 GT3. But crucially, it won't be available with a manual gearbox, and that's a shame. Everything about this car screams hardcore, work for your supper, but as an experience this car is unbelievably good to drive. The steering is just the right side of heavy, so you know when you properly hustle it into a corner, it feels good. But the big clincher here is the gearbox. These six little ratios sat right down here. It is hard work, the clutch does require a little bit of pushing and it's quite notchy, but when you get it right, when you match it with the revs and the engine revs so freely and so wonderfully, you know you've done something special and the car rewards you with this brilliant feeling that yes, you are driving this car correctly and yes, you can do it well and all of a sudden it just works. Everything feels just right. There's very few things that can top that feeling. <laughs> Cars like this hardcore GT3 are all about driver engagement, feeling at one with the car, linking corner after corner with fluid inputs and finely tuned reactions. A huge part of that is being able to swap cogs yourself. You know where you are with a manual change. You can hold a gear as long as you like, listen to the noise, hold the car at just the right point in the rev range in your chosen ratio and exploit the torque curve to your heart's content. Sadly, humans are quite stupid. We're still at our very core, just wandering around the world, trying to make the best of it as we can, but inevitably we make massive mistakes. Now, to quote Alexander Pope, to err is human and to forgive divine, something I wish YouTube commenters would take on board a little more often, if I'm honest, but at least it goes to show that we can cut ourselves a little bit of slack when we make mistakes. Like changing gear mid-corner, staying in them for too long, burning out clutches, doing silly things to impress people who often don't care, etc. We also like things to be easy. Things like smartphones may be killing pub debates, but at least an answer, a correct one, 99% of the time, is at our very fingertips. Technology is steadily eliminating the mistakes we make, arguably making us more knowledgeable and better off. Unless you believe all the stuff you read on Twitter and Reddit, most of that is just bullshit. Anyway, technology in the wider world improves our knowledge base, advances us as people, but in the automotive world, well, it has all manner of uses. The dual-clutch PDK gearbox used by Porsche is pretty fantastic. For example, it changes gear faster than you could care to mention and selects the right gear for the right speed. It also means you get better fuel economy and emit less nasty carbon dioxide. The basic 911, the Carrera, with a manual gearbox emits 212 grams per kilometre of carbon dioxide. Now, with the PDK, it emits just 194 grams per kilometre. The manual car will manage 31.4 mpg, a very respectable number, but the PDK manages 34.4 mpg. If you let the car change gears by itself, its 0 to 62 time is 0.2 of a second quicker than the manual cars, and people absolutely love it. The PDK manual split, in the UK at least, is 70 to 30. And then you take in mind the fact that Ferrari and Jaguar don't actually offer a manual gearbox anymore because people simply don't buy them. They prefer the ease of letting the car do its own thing but still have the thrill of the speed machines that those companies sell. 
And if people aren't buying them, then there's no business case for them. If there's no business case for a manual, then, well, why bother? And the PDK gearbox works fantastically in the 911. It's smooth, easy to use, and all round lovely. In its various modes, it can transform the car from an effortless cruiser to a dribbling speed machine. It even lets you perform perfect launches time after time. Porsche knows the PDK gearbox works incredibly well, so now it is the only way you can change gear in the new 991 GT3, meaning that this one is the last GT3 that will offer a full driver experience, full engagement. For want of a better phrase, well, it's the last analogue GT3 we'll probably ever get. So this is the last GT3 that features mental power and full driver involvement. It has everything a driver's car could possibly need, and it just feels right. Will the new GT3 offer the same magic, the same engagement, the same involvement as this? the old car, one regarded by many as being one of the finest cars ever built. That I don't know, I'll let you know when I drive it, but what I do know is the stick shift in there will by many be sorely missed. And I'm one of those many.